Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome. Today we're going to review expressions that we use to talk about remembering and, uh, oh, forget it. Let's go. All right, all right. Welcome to Greg Teaches English. I'm Greg. How are you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's nice to see you here. Today we're going to review expressions that we use to talk about remembering things and forgetting things. And there's a lot of different ways that we say, uh, say these phrases and express ourselves. And sometimes it's not always clear because the phrase doesn't always mean remember or forget. So it's important to review and to learn and to become more familiar with these types of phrases. So first, we're going to review some phrases that we use to talk about, to talk about remembering. So I'll show you the phrase and I'll read a sentence. So first one is, as far as I can remember, as far as I can remember, her birthday is coming soon. As far as I can remember, her birthday is coming soon. Next one. I'll always remember. I'll always remember the first time we met. The first time we met. I'll always remember. I remember. I remember all of the words to my favorite songs. I remember. I remember. Here's an interesting one. If my memory serves me correctly, if my memory serves me correctly, you had an interview last week, right? If my memory serves me correctly, you, I, you had an interview. Okay. Next one. I'll never forget. I'll never forget all of the nice things you did for me. I'll never forget. As I recall, Recall means to remember. Recall is another word for remember. As I recall, you are going to London soon, right? As I recall. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, the game is tomorrow, not today. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. So these are phrases that we use to talk about remembering things. We say, come to think of it, come to think of it, I really need a new pair of shoes. I really do need a new pair of shoes, come to think of it, now that I'm thinking about it. I can clearly remember, I can clearly remember that you said you would be busy next week. I can clearly remember. Next. Ah, uh, this is a good word. I have a vague recollection of vague means not clear, not clear, a little bit. Recollection is from recall and recall means to remember. So it means I can remember a little bit. I have a vague recollection of the people we met at the party, a vague recollection. All right. As far as I can recall, the weather should be warm all week, as far as I can recall. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, the boss said he would buy us dinner, if I remember correctly. That sounds good. Okay, so those are expressions for remembering. Now let's talk about expressions that we use when we're talking about forgetting something forgetting something. So some people forget more than they remember. Some people remember more than they forget. Everybody's different. So let's check out some forgetting expressions. We say my mind went blank. My mind went blank. In the middle of the exam, my mind went blank. What was I thinking? My mind is blank. Nothing there. My mind went blank. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember how to make apple pie. I can't remember how to make apple pie. 
So you can also say, I forget how to make apple pie. So you either forget something or you can't remember something. It has the same meaning. Here's an interesting one. It doesn't ring a bell. Ring a bell. Now that has nothing to do with remembering something. Ring a bell. But the way that we use this is the movie about the dog. Hmm. It doesn't ring a bell. It doesn't ring a bell. It doesn't sound familiar. It doesn't ring a bell. I don't. I don't remember anything when I when I hear this. You mentioned the movie about the dog. Next one completely slipped my mind. It completely slipped my mind. I was supposed to pick up my laundry, but it completely slipped my mind. Means I forgot. Means I did not remember. It slipped my mind. I'm sorry, I forgot about it. Forgot about it. So forget, remember, they're all connected. If we forget, it means we don't remember. If we remember, it means we didn't forget. So these go like together. Were we going to meet for lunch? I'm sorry, I forgot about it. I forgot about it. I forget. I forget my password all the time. I forget. Now this is a present simple. I forget. If we want to use past, we say I forgot. I forgot my password yesterday. This is a good one. I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought. So when we're thinking, we have a series of things like a train, like a train of cars, one after the other. And when we lose our train of thought, it means we there's a there's a, a missing piece. What was I saying? I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. It's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. The name of that actor. What's the name of that actor? It's on the tip of my tongue. It means I can almost remember what the name is. It's right here, but I can't get it out. Said the tip of my tongue. Ha, goes in one ear and out the other. In one ear and out the other. You didn't pay attention. Everything I tell you goes in one ear and out the other. It means it goes in here and it doesn't stay here. It comes out here. So in one ear and out the other, it enters, it, you hear it, but then it's supposed to stay in your head, but it escapes. So the information does not stay in your head. Can you refresh my memory? Refresh my memory? I forgot what you asked me to do. Can you refresh my memory? It means tell me again. Tell me again so that I remember again. It escapes me. It escapes me. It escapes me why we started arguing. It escapes me. It means it was here, I remembered, and then the thought is gone. The thought escaped. Okay. Sometimes we say, I'd forget my head. I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached. My head, if it wasn't attached, I might leave it at home because I forget stuff all the time. I left my backpack at home and I swear I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached, if it wasn't attached. So there you are, expressions using remember and forget. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. This English English lessons online just for you. Uh, I make three new English video lessons, three new video lessons, English lessons each week. So please hit the subscribe button and you'll be reminded of all the new videos that I do. So that's all. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm glad that you're here. Keep practicing your English. Keep learning expressions. Expressions are a really big part, important part of your English improvement, not just vocabulary, but expressions and how we use them. So that's all. Check back soon. I'm glad you're here. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.